cricketing fans can be passionate about their favorite teams just imagine the passion that players would have for the country that they represent but sometimes for some reason they do think of changing their preferences and loyalty today at simply chuma we are going to list out the top 5 cricketers who have played for two different countries first let's take a look at the just missed by that much segment john tricos an off spinner he made his test debut in 1970 for south africa against australia after three tests however he moved to zimbabwe he then made his odi debut for them in 1983 and played till the 1990s number 5 dirk nanis dirk nanis is a dutch australian left arm fast bowler he shot to fame playing for delhi daredevils in the indian premier league and was later called by netherlands side where he made his t20 international debut against england Nanis represented the Australian side in the 2010 ICC World Cup T20 competition. Till now, he has played 15 T20 international matches representing Australia and two matches representing Netherlands. Number 4, Ed Joyce. Never mind switching once. Ed Joyce switched twice. Joyce started his career with Ireland before opting to play international cricket for England. Joyce played both ODIs and T20s including the 2007 World Cup where he faced Ireland. Joyce was granted an exemption to return to Ireland for the 2011 World Cup shortly before his 4-year requalification period had elapsed. He has played 17 ODI matches representing England and more than 46 representing Ireland. Number 3, Luke Ronchi. the most recent player to switch between full member nations ronchi made his new zealand odi and t20 debuts in 2013 having previously played four odis and three t20s for australia between 2008 and 2009 which included a 22 ball 50 against west indies he was born in new zealand but raised in australia which created his first route into international cricket but after his australian career faded He went on to play for New Zealand. Number 2 Nawab of Patodi Senior. The only man to have played for India and England. He made a century in his test debut against Australia at the SCG in the Bodyline Tour of 1932-33. But had to return home before the end of the series after a disagreement over the tactics employed by Douglas Jardine. He played one more test for England before he was named captain of the Indian team for the tour of England in 1936. Although he was later not fit for the trip due to the Second World War, it was not until 1946 that he appeared in a test again. By then his best years were behind him and he made just 55 runs in 5 innings. Number 1 Kepler Wessels. Wessels returned to captain South Africa including at the 1992 World Cup following their readmission to international cricket post apartheid this came after a long career in australia that included 3 years at test level and stints in world series cricket he played 78 international matches for australia and 71 matches for south africa in which he scored 5 centuries for australia and only 2 for south africa what do you think of this list Do let us know if we missed any player who represented two nations in the game of cricket. We love reading your comments, so please keep them coming. But before you do that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And of course, don't forget to like and share this video.